OS 12 delivers a number of improvements across common operations. You'll see that apps launch up to 40% faster. The keyboard can come up up to 50% faster, and you can slide to take a photo at up to 70% faster. What's up guys, it is your boy Alex. Hope you are feeling really well. And this is the video which you guys requested so much. It is about the iPhone 5S and its performance. So I'm gonna compare the iPhone 5S on the iOS 11.4, not the 11.4.1 because it's pretty much the same thing, uh, to the iOS 12 because iOS 12 is the new one and it brings performance improvements. So let's see if it's any faster. Oh, and before we're gonna move on to the test, I wanted to remind you guys that iMobbeast contest is still running and you can enter it at any time up to 11th of June. And of course, they're giving away a few products, the iPads and the Google Home. It's that simple to enter. Just click on the button and you're in. Just share it on your social media. So good luck to you. And first of all, I wanted to start off with the speed test. So apps opening test. That's what we usually use on our daily basis, the most important thing. So Apple says it's up to 40% faster. So let's see if it is. Okay, so the iOS 12 is on the left and the iOS 11 is on the right. And spoiler alert, iOS 12 is pretty much the same as the iOS 11 in terms of this just apps opening and performance. So I didn't notice any change like whatsoever. At the end, we will see the numbers of 57 seconds on the left and 58 on the right. So it makes absolutely no difference in terms of this apps opening. This is what really matters, just day-to-day -day -to -day tasks and stuff like this. Uh, unfortunately, that's not what Apple said to us. And I actually made a couple of tests before this one and they all gave me about 58 seconds at the end. So that's the exact number for this model, the iPhone 5S. And now the Geekbench, what should I say here? So for the iOS 11, we've got the scores of 1294 for the single core. In comparison to the iOS 12, it got 1303. So it's pretty much the same thing. And for the multi-core scores, again, they did not change, but 50 points is almost nothing for an OS. Uh, if it was like maybe hundreds or 150, that would be a huge margin, but 50 points is almost nothing. However, if you take a look at how a camera opens on the lock screen in comparison to the iPhone 6S, that is blazing fast. As you can see, that is extremely fast on the iPhone 5S. It's one-to-one -one as it is on the iPhone 6S. So that is a huge, huge victory over the iOS 11, of course. And what about this sharing sheet, which Apple talked about on the presentation? Well, it is much, much faster than it is on the iOS 11. So uh, this right here have the iPhone 5S on the iOS 12 and the iPhone 6S on the iOS 11. When I first did it, it was just lighting fast, much, much faster than the iPhone 6S. So there is a definite improvement in here. So what should I say more? Well, Apple did a great job in terms of the performance, really. It's it's just the first beta and of course we cannot, you know, seriously compare it to the iOS 11 on the latest version. Uh, but I can say that Apple did a great job. They have been just, you know, uh, reworking everything, rewriting every algorithm of that animation and stuff on every single iPhone and in iOS 12 in general. So, of course, the further improvements are going to be coming in the next beta or maybe in the iOS 12.1. We're going to see a huge, huge difference, but it's definitely for good. Anyways, guys, I think that should be pretty much it. Hopefully this video was useful for you. Even if it was, definitely be sure to smack the like button. That would be super much appreciated, like always. And as always, guys, I'll see you around.